Here's the 1940 Ford tractor. The tractor has really been doing yeoman service in uh, keeping the fields mode, but it did have a failure uh, about a week ago, and I, I think I figured out what the problem is. The battery had ended up going completely dead. I had to jump start it, and then as the tractor drove, it would lose power after about 45 minutes. And I found that the alternator was not charging the battery. Here's the uh, quiescent state battery voltage of 12.9 volts. So let me, uh, what I found is I had to hook up the field coil wire to the alternator. I'm not sure if it's exactly a field coil, but it's something that has to be energized when the key is on in order to, in order to make the alternator work. It may be the, the field coil or it may be something going to the internal voltage regulator. And the thing is about this key, this key can go in two positions, and I found uh, that when the key was turned this way, when it was turned to the right, like you would when you're starting a car, that we weren't getting any charging. I'm going to try turning the key back to see if that'll do it. I know that the alligator clip lead connected to the battery terminal and connected to that field terminal will make it charge. But let's first try cranking it with, with the key in the accessory position and see if that does anything because they may have just miswired the ignition switch. First thing I'm going to do is turn the fuel on. Now let's try turning the key back and I'll crank it over. Okay, no juice that way. And let's try the regular running position. Let the fuel get into the carburetor. Let's try it that way again. And let's try it that way. Okay. And if you notice that there's not enough voltage there, only 12.3 volts. Okay, now that we got fuel in the fuel system, let's see if this auxiliary position will make the engine run. Okay, that's a no-go. Now what I'm going to do is to hook up this field coil wire, and I hooked it up down there to the key switch, to the wire that goes to that field. So I'm going to hook it up here to the battery, and we'll get the tractor started. Looks like it's starting to charge up now. Should get up to 14 volts. And the ammeter is registering charging on the battery. Shut it off here. We'll disconnect the alligator clip lead. The meter just managed to fall down into the battery compartment there. And I'm going to make sure to turn the fuel off here so we don't end up flooding the carburetor. So that's just what I've got to do to the Ford tractor. I think I'm going to go with a a new ignition switch. I'm going to see if I can get one that mounts in the original position because here's where the key really is supposed to go on the Ford tractor. Somebody did a retrofit down here and mounted it down here. But with that fixed I should have uh, no trouble with the tractor uh, getting it started again.